Good morning, you guys, and welcome to Turks and Caicos. First time driving on the other side of the road. Wish me luck. Places, going all to different places, different planets. But your aura passed me by, losing balance. So basically what is happening here is I am acting as the Verbo representative. So we are going to be touring three incredible Verbos, which means you get the entire home to yourself. And I'm also gonna be the representative on breakfast television, which is truly one of my dreams to punch that in my little bingo card. So I gotta show you where I woke up this morning. I gotta fix the bed just a touch, but look at this view. This is our first Verbo, so I am just gonna start getting ready this morning. I'm gonna go have a little coffee, meet up with Frankie, and then we are gonna go over kind of what we're gonna say. He's also doing his weather hits this morning, which feels so close to home for me. And then we're gonna get going. I gotta show you this outfit really quickly. Let me put you down here. Sorry if it's a bit echoey, it is so gorgeous. Hopefully you can see it. This dress is from Chic. I'll show it to you a little bit better a little bit later, um, but wow. I am obsessed, it's giving Zimmerman, that is for sure, and it even has pockets for all my ladies who love pockets. It comes with this string belt, and I brought my raffia one to change up with it, but I actually think I like that this kind of breaks it up with the little bow. I might ask the girlies what they think, but time for a coffee, that is for sure. We're actually heading out to a place called Omar's, but I have to tell you the segment this morning went really well. It was nice to kind of knock the rust off. Sorry I'm in this area where it's so echoey. I just, I have such pale blue eyes. It's hard to talk to you guys when we are really close to where the sun is shining in. But the segment went really well. This home is so beautiful. The place sleeps 16 people, has an incredible kitchen, that beautiful infinity pool, which I am 1 million percent planning on getting in on the way back from lunch, as soon as we get back from lunch. But we are currently going to go to Omar's, and Omar's on the beach is a restaurant that a lot of people go to here at Turks and Caicos. And it's because they serve like some really authentic dishes. It's such a fun vibe. And I'll definitely show you that as well. The last time that Frankie and I were here, we went to Omar's and it was such a time. And one of my favorite things to do is when I visited somewhere before to bring new people to show them. So I am gonna be saying goodbye to this beautiful view. Like, can you even believe how stung, stunning it is? It feels so private that as soon as I even just stepped out into this area, 
I was like, oh, I've got to be a little bit more quiet. And then after this as well, I'm going to definitely take you guys down there and we're going to go in the water in this beautiful pool. But the girls are just getting ready in the kitchen and this is where I woke up this morning. Stunning, 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 stunning. And as for my outfit right now, this is what it looks like. I'm wearing my Aloha sandals, my dish pants, this is a dish top, and then of course my two liter Lululemon crossbody everywhere bag. It is the absolute best, and very good. Omar's today and the reason why is because the owner of this place of this Verbo I wonder if I could balance you here and then talk to you in the other chair as if we were like sitting in two little chairs together cute okay so it's a bit heavy to pick believe but I'll figure it out in post but the reason why we didn't end up going to Omar's is because the owner who owns this Verbo which is stunning he actually gave us a gift card to go to another place so it was beautiful, there was great views, the owners were incredible. I'm gonna add that to my Turks and Caicos restaurant must go to list. Um, I ended up just having a little shrimp basket and we had lobster rolls on the table, ceviche, as well as, what else, what else? There was conch fritters, which is something you definitely have to do if you come to Turks and Caicos. Conch is very popular here. <laughs> um, and they do this little deep fry, we had coconut shrimp, it was just very, very nice. Can you hear the plane going overhead as well? That's one of the nice things about coming here is you're actually not far from the airport. You don't hear planes all day, but there are a ton of private planes. Drake specifically loves this place and tomorrow we're actually going to our next Verbo location and we're gonna have a private kind of cocktail making thing go on during the show, which will be really nice. This one guy is coming, I'm, for his, I'm blanking on his name. Paulo? Anyway, we're going to have a mixologist come and he's gonna make us a drink and he's made drinks for Drake before, which is very, very cool. So that was awesome. My goal right now is to get in that water. <laughs> I, um, I was creating content all morning so I didn't have an opportunity to like the other girlies. So I'm gonna put on my bathing suit, show you what I got from Peony and then get in that water because it is just too gorgeous to waste. And then I believe we have to check into the next Verbo then we might have like a dinner out as well tonight. So all good. I'm still very sleepy from that very early wake up call too. So I might even sneak a little nap in and then some editing and some downtime. First in the sun and then a little bit out of the sun as well. Officially ready to go outside. Celine glasses. I know they're on my head. Don't get mad at me guys. I have to do it. <laughs> these earrings I need to tag them down below they're from an Australian brand but I don't remember what they are they're honestly a random bridal brand but I fell in love with the glasses and then both this this is a one piece it's peony swimwear and then as well the little cover up is too I just feel like it's so blue and perfect and I love blue so much I love that this is a one piece so when we're doing paddle boarding it's gonna be Perfect, perfect, perfect. And now that I'm thinking of it, probably not gonna take my Celine glasses paddle boarding. <laughs> that would be so sad if I lost them. Okay, time for the water. <laughs> this beautiful Verbo, our official first one of the trip. I hope you liked all the B-roll and things like that. What we just did was we went down to the little dock down there and did some paddle boarding. It was so much fun and that is the most relaxing activity. And it's really nice in chalk sound because 
it's a little bit more calm and you can kind of go against the grain and then float all the way back. We're just in this little flight path. Oh my gosh, you can see the moon so beautifully outside. Ah, oh, just such a, such a beautiful place. So what we are right about to do is transfer to our next Verbo, which we will be showing off tomorrow on the show. And I think we were maybe going to have dinner at a place that we had last time, which is Kokomo Resort. It's called We, it's a restaurant there, really, really beautiful. But if we don't hear back from them, then I think we're just gonna grab groceries and make dinner at the Airbnb, because that's what we did last night. It was just a really nice way to connect. So let's go. All the things packed up, so sad to say goodbye to this place. So excited to show you this outfit and this Verbo, but this is actually Verbo number three. We have to drive over to number two to do our segment today, and then we'll be back here tonight to sleep again. The bed is literally one of the most comfortable beds I've ever slept in in my life, full stop. So today I am wearing these earrings, which I still don't have the name to. It's Amelie something. I decided to go for the high pony. I feel like it just really suits this. This is kind of like a 60s housewife on vacation vibes. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Edge of Ember snake chain. And then this set is from Chic. I will tag it down below. It is so beautiful. I actually would maybe size down on the skirt. I normally go for like a UK size 10, but I really need to belt it. But when shopping internationally and paying duties, sometimes it's better to go bigger and just have it adjusted to you, which I definitely think I'll do. I paired it with my festiche belt from Cezanne, which is also something you can do, just to cinch it in a touch. And then of course my Steve Madden little sandals. So let's get going. Sarah's downstairs waiting. I have to drive us over to, Ooh, sorry, my camera's a bit broken. I'm not gonna lie. And when I touch this, it just basically turns off. Sarah's just waiting downstairs. I'm gonna drive us over to number two, Verbo. We're gonna go do our TV segment. I'll bring you behind the scenes there a little bit. It's such a cool place. It's got this like kind of river looking water feature running through it. But this is what I woke up to this morning. Not a bad day at all. So let's go rock it. I'm feeling really good. We had an incredible dinner last night at Coco Van. I'm so glad we got to go because the weather was a little bit crazy. Um, minutes before we were leaving and then it settled down and we were in this little kind of alcove kind of protected by the palm trees and the foliage and the food was just as incredible as I remember it. So if you ever come to Turks and Caicos, you have to go to Coco Van or Coco Bistro. They're attached. Coco Bistro is more of like a dressy place, more of kind of like the date night vibe, but Coco Van, so cool. It's an Airstream and they have amazing dishes. It's one of those places you want to order a ton of little things and share, which is definitely what we did. So wish me luck. Let's have fun today. Alright, we have arrived 
at our second location. Let me show you. Frankie is currently doing a TV hit just behind you here. And the Tiki Bar is set up today in our hit. We actually have a mixologist who has made drinks for Drake. And he is going to be making the drink that he makes for Drake. And it's just gonna be so much fun. We are talking specifically about booking the outside in. So it's like booking homes that have the amenities that you would just love to have with you on vacation. And then also booking those services to come straight to you. So look at this. It's so meta right now. It's hilarious because breakfast television's on right there. It's a bit dark, but Tammy and Frankie up on TV right now. We've got our little kitchen. Sorry if I'm panning too fast. I'm just way too excited. And there Frankie is. He's doing his weather forecast for the Toronto show. And then we will be on the national show and the girlies over there, what they're doing is they're prepping kayaks and things because we're going to be talking about that very soon. Alright, officially, I feel like I pulled up my ponytail. Officially, the second hit in the books. And today, just doing so much social media for Instagram, for TV, here for the vlog, but today's Verbo, basically it's this whole home. It feels like a tropical cottage because it sleeps 10, it has had 137 reviews that are all five stars, and it is right here on this beautiful canal. So you'll have people, you know, floating by. It's a very, it honestly is a cottage feel. And then earlier in our segment, we had the girlies on the kayaks as well as the stand-up paddle boards, and they were out here because it's nice and calm. And then the other thing we had, which is so fun, is this is Paulo. I'm gonna put his YouTube channel right below, but he was making us some drinks. He made us an espresso martini, a tropical espresso martini. Okay, Paulo, you also have a book. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? So I just published this book. Yep. It's basically a manual for everybody want to become like a mixologist. So yep. you start as a bartender. There are recipe, uh, formula, all the way out to do the best cocktail. Oh my gosh, and on Amazon. can you tell us on the vlog who you've made drinks for before? Drake. Drake. Last, my last VIP was Drake. And how was he? Was he nice? Amazing. <gasps> One of the best customers I ever had in my life. A gentleman, oh my love to drink like classic cocktail, best experience really. Oh well, my Drake. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we love hearing fa fellow Canadians um, who are very nice no matter how famous they are. So from the six to Turks and Caicos, Paul is your guy and you can also book him and go and visit his restaurant too. So I will link his book as well as his YouTube channel below because he is called Dr. Negroni and he knows how to make some incredible, incredible cocktails. <laughs> Especially at lunch, we've settled in. I've grabbed some really fun shots of this outfit because you know what, she deserves it. <laughs> we know this. Um, and now it's time to put on my bathing suit. I'll show you the bathing suit I brought. It's peony swimwear. I love, love, love this pattern. And then yesterday, if I had gotten shots of it, I also have the wrap. So I think this will be so cute today. Definitely mission sunscreen today. I believe they just came out with that pattern too. So I will link all of the pieces that they have in that pattern. They showed a behind the scenes in their newsletter and it was just so cool to see the way that the design came together. I would love to know the way that this design came together from Chic. But it is now time to honestly take off this makeup. The skin needs to breathe. I have TV makeup on and I have this Mount Vesuvius there that I have had to cover up with some layers. So we're gonna take off the makeup and just take a deep breath. Okay, it has been so incredible. Today's hit was so much fun, but I feel like I just need to step away from like the camera for a second and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful place. So I will leave you right now with this view that I'm gonna pan to 
and some drone shots that I just ended up getting before that um, I did to help out with the broadcast. So I'm sharing those over with Brian, who is the most incredible camera man. He has been so kind and so lovely and so great to work with. And so I got him some good drone shots and it's so fun to be part of the team. just had such a nice little time out. I even had a bath, it was incredible. But I wanted to show you this dress. It's from Dish. Um, and it's just so elegant and sleek. I met a little cat friend down at the beach and I can't stop thinking about her and it's making me so sad. That is one of the hard parts about seeing animals when you're on islands is you just want to bring them all home and she was just such a little sweetie pea but I'll put some footage of her on here and I brought down some water like a little water bowl for her I wish I had some food she was meowing at me for some food and I just don't we didn't have any and I didn't want to make her sick at all so she'll be okay she'll be okay <laughs> we're gonna go out for dinner I think we're going to a bistro in town so that should be lovely and the lighting right now is just so beautiful and even and I can even see over there those people are actually getting a massage at their rental property so that is absolutely incredible and hilariously it is also very on brand for what we were talking about today booking the outside in hello Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know I think this needs to adjust because it's so bright. Good morning, you guys. Another beautiful sunrise to wake up to. My eyes just looking into that sun. <laughs> they need so much time to adjust. So maybe let's go into the washroom area. Just a little bit further away from the light, which sounds so funny. So this is my outfit. 
this is my outfit today. It's a two piece, it's a really nice silky set. There are these pants and this top. I tried to do a cross bra action, but I'm hoping my hair can hide that. I hope you guys are having a great morning and you've been enjoying this so far. It's been tricky to do like a million things all at once, but I think we've been managing to grab some iPhone footage, which I will definitely throw in here for some extra texture. And it's just been the most incredible experience. We'll talk a little bit more about that tonight when everyone is actually gone. It's just gonna be me and Sarah left, and Sarah is the representative from Verbo who actually hired me for this trip. Um, so yeah, we are gonna have this for an extra night, which is so exciting. And those other cuties go home today, which I'm sad for them because I know they are very sad to go home too. But we have our last hit to do today. Haven't had anything to eat or anything like that. The fish fry last night, was so much fun. Actually, maybe I can put you right here. I'm just trying to find a way that I can actually see and then talk to you. Okay, on the towel. The fish fry last night was so much fun. Oh my God, I'll stand right here. The fish fry last night was so much fun. It was exactly how we remembered it last year. I'm pretty sure the host was the exact same. They had people come up on the stage, whether it was their anniversary, they were getting married, it was their birthday, or they were celebrating a divorce. And they had like dance-offs and things like that. And of course, there's tons of food and things that they sell and all that. So if you're ever in Turks and Caicos, that happens every Thursday. And everyone on the island knows about it. So all you have to do is ask, where's the fish fry? And they'll direct you in the right direction. Um, it's down by the main strip where those main hotels are, like the Ritz and Sandals and things like that. Um, which makes sense because it's a lot of tourists, but the nice thing is it's a lot of locals as well. So food, drink, all that stuff, and dinner last night was also incredible. We went to this bistro on the beach and it just had a vibe. Like it had lanterns that were lit and it had lights and it had fires and uh, the food was incredible. So I will also put that in my blog um, to recommend it because 100% incredible, incredible. Time for some breakfast, some coffee, review my notes and get ready for this last hit. This has been absolutely incredible. And I hope you like this outfit. <laughs> muffin out for her, I hope. Oh. Into Wednesday, as we look up Wednesday, we're going to see that shower's ending, and then into Thursday, sky is clear and temperatures will sit. Oh, you're busy. You're busy, we had a cuddle. We had such a nice cuddle. We had such a nice cuddle. Yes. I love you. Yes. What a morning! Oh my gosh, it has been so beautiful here. The heat is here today, which is exciting because everyone just actually left for the airport. Sorry, excuse me, I have to put on these sunglasses because we've got the windows in the back. <laughs> and again, my blue eyes. But everyone has left for the airport except for Sarah and I. And Sarah is the rep from Verbo, but also a good friend now. And we are staying an extra night in this place. We're calling it Barbie's dream house for the night because it truly is our own little dream house. And we're definitely girly like that. We're gonna get some sunrise shots and sunset shots. But at um, 1 p.m., we have booked a pontoon tour and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. It's a two hour tour and they take you out into the islands and we get to go to this one island where there's iguanas that will come straight up to us. So I will 100% be getting some shots to show you that. I'm very excited. I'm gonna do a little change. We took some photos of the outfit, so I'm excited we captured it. It's all good. So fun. And we're also gonna go to Kokomo Resort where I went last year with Frankie. We're gonna go to Wee Restaurant tonight a little bit later to see Kelly and Susanna who own that place over there. So that's gonna be also amazing. As if we know people who own places on this island. It's just so crazy when you get to come to a location more than once 
you just end up making friends. So let's do it. Let's get in our bathers, put a ton of sunscreen on. I'm definitely gonna bring my hat. Amanda, bring your hat and we're good to go. arrived back at Chalk Sound at Las Brisas because Rachel, who I believe owns this place, she was telling us at lunch the other day how they have a pontoon boat trip. It's $70 per person to go out. It's two hours and you're going to end up going to an iguana island, see iguanas, there's some snorkeling and you're going to be checking out, sorry if it's too windy, Chalk Sound, which is absolutely stunning. And this lady's with me. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down fun the pontoon boat was really really fun and nice and easy if you are someone who hates choppy waters it's the perfect thing to do the two hours it wasn't even a full two hours so it was the perfect amount of time as well we did that snorkeling which was really fun I'll pop a little video right here again so you can see it if you didn't catch it in the kind of three stack but I've never tried those masks before I actually really liked it that that was the tourist one because usually you have to put it in your mouth and I'm always really freaked out that the last person put it in their mouth and it's not cleaned property properly. So that was really cool seeing the plane in the water, which is not where a plane should be, but it has created a really cool area where coral has kind of formed and some fish come through. Not as many fish as I thought would be there, I'm not gonna lie. But the Iguana Island was really, really cool. Supposedly there's two of them. There's one woman on our boat who has lived in Turks and Caicos for seven years and she's like, oh, this isn't like the Iguana Island, but the iguanas that were on this island were super healthy and happy and they were actually really cute, I'm not gonna lie. And then after that, we headed over to Omar's. Omar is on the beach which is another place that I would totally highly recommend to go for lunch. Omar, who owns that place, is really wonderful and he's been doing incredible things around the island. And the food there is just kind of classic. It's like, it's like almost an island pub vibe. So that was awesome. I had cra cracked lobster, which is basically deep fried lobster. Um, and then tonight, and why I'm back dressed up in this outfit, we are gonna go to We, which is at Kokomo Resort. So we're gonna go there. It's a nicer restaurant and we're gonna meet up with Kelly and Susanna and maybe even Gabe who all own the place. So I'm gonna go downstairs, chug a bunch of water. <laughs> I had a nice bath when I got home and just kind of freshened up. And then we're gonna head over to We and I'll bring you along with me. I was gonna say, I'll bring you along with We. <laughs> Second 
Just a little sunrise, quick little photo shoot to say goodbye to Turks and Caicos and this might be too windy to use. But what a beautiful search today. day of travel and it has been a, such an incredible experience. I feel so incredibly grateful. I've honestly been dreaming about this type of thing, working on this specific morning show since I was a kid. And I know that sounds dramatic, but literally since I was a kid, I would watch breakfast television and I would see Jennifer Valentine specifically out doing things in the community. And I just kept thinking to myself, oh my God, like that is the job. That is what I want to be doing. And I cannot believe that I finally checked it off my, my bucket list. So now I can officially say I've done broadcast for CBC, The Weather Network, and Breakfast Television. And I feel like that is such a fun trifecta. I'm so grateful for Verbo and Sarah for bringing me along on this trip and then having all of this synergy within and Frankie making it so fun and so easy as always to be on broadcasts. Oh, do you know what? I'm remembering we didn't turn off the alarm. One sec. <laughs> On that, of Virgo's being so safe. <laughs> this one, you can set an alarm and then you press stay. And so then if anyone opens a door, like the alarm will sound. And we went outside to take pictures this morning in the sunrise shop that you already saw. And then Sarah cracked her window downstairs or her door to put her dress out because we were in the water. And then it started going off. So sorry about that little interlude. But yeah, I'm just feeling so incredibly grateful. I'm so incredibly grateful to you guys as well because you make these dreams come true. Honestly, subscribers and followers and building a community, people around the world are having their dreams come true. And I am one of them and it's because of you guys being here and my cozy little nook of the internet. I'm gonna take Sarah this morning to a place called Taylor Bay. So I'll try to get a couple of shots, whether that's on iPhone or here. I'm so sorry there was so much iPhone footage in this one, but there was so much to do and I'm on my own. I know I always say this, but not having Scotty here with me to just help me with a couple little bits. And so we took a ton of photos and did the broadcast and vlog and then also drone footage for the broadcast. And I hope you love that drone footage too. What a fun, experience to be able to shoot up my little drone and then see on, see that footage on the broadcast. But yeah, I hope you don't mind too much the iPhone footage. I just love putting it in there because it adds so much more texture and context to, to what we're doing, but I know it goes by fast. So we'd love to hear feedback on that. Anyways, I'm gonna love ya. I'm gonna leave ya. I'm gonna leave you with some B-roll footage and just tell you how much I love you and how grateful I am for you and for this experience. And I hope that you enjoyed it because I did. <laughs> Just feeling good. Time to pack my bags. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.